Good morning to you. This is Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Thursday, June the 9th, 2022. In the Atlantic Basin, nice and quiet National Hurricane Center indicating nothing of concern over the next five days. So we switch over to the Eastern Pacific, where we do have an area of disturbed weather that is uh, eventually going to consolidate and potentially become our next tropical cyclone well to the south of the Mexican coastline in the eastern Pacific over the next few days. So we will watch that. The pattern in that part of the world is a little bit more favorable than what we are seeing in the Atlantic, but there are some rumblings that maybe something tries to come together after about the five-day time frame in the Western Caribbean. Taking a look at the vorticity signature, there is some energy trying to bundle up there to the south of the Mexican coastline. Still just a few different blobs over there of what we call concentrated vorticity. Nothing coming together just yet. It'll take some time, but I do think there's a pretty good chance, as does the Hurricane Center, that something will develop in that part of the Southeast Pacific before all is said and done. Looking at the satellite animation this morning, again, not much happening in the Atlantic Basin. It's still early in the season. Upper level winds are too strong over much of the deep tropics through the Caribbean, even the Gulf of Mexico. It's that area to the south of Mexico itself where we really need to be watching over the next several days. Uh, but as I alluded to, there is at least the possibility that a more favorable pattern does begin to set up beyond the five day time frame. And again, I'll cover that in more detail this afternoon. All right, so here's the GFS, and uh, this is a little bit different look. This is the 5,000 foot winds and the mean sea level pressure. And you can see right there to the south of the southern coast of Mexico, a uh, area of disturbed weather gets together and eventually becomes a tropical storm and maybe even a hurricane. And then it starts to come back east, almost in the same general area that Agatha developed a couple of weeks ago or so. Uh, we have to watch this closely because that uh, Agatha was a pretty damaging event. But you can also see just at the end of the run there, a little bit of a shift in the wind pattern in the Western Caribbean to the north of Honduras, to the east of the Yucatan. That's where we will begin to watch beyond that five-day time frame. But at least for now, nothing to worry about. I'll go over all of this and more in greater detail. I'll be back this afternoon with the Hurricane Outlook and discussion that is exclusively on my YouTube channel and over at Facebook. And you just search Hurricane Track, Hurricane T-R-A-C-K, at either one of those platforms and you'll find what we're doing. All right. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. This is Mark Suddeth again, Hurricane Track. And this has been What's Up in the Tropics. I'll be back with more for you this afternoon during the Hurricane Outlook and Discussion.